Today we're going to create a Lambda layer for Node.js that contains the MySQL package. To accomplish this, we're going to start by creating a working folder. Next we'll install the MySQL package using the npm package installer. I will then compress this working directory and use the compressed file to become our Lambda layer. Let's get started. started today's project by just creating a empty Lambda package that has the require MySQL library. As you can tell here from the left, the Node.js module and the MySQL libraries are not installed here. Clicking test, we will get the error that tells us we cannot find the MySQL module. So let's build a Lambda layer to satisfy this requirement. I'm going to be doing this from the Cloud9 environment, which is basically a Linux EC2 instance, and it's definitely recommended that you utilize this. But I will add some uh, Windows installation instructions and even maybe build a Windows install video. You can find that in the description down below. We're going to start by creating a working folder, which is going to be named Lambda Layer. And we'll go into the Lambda Layer folder, and then we'll actually create a next a new folder called uh, Node.js and the name of this second folder, this Node.js folder is actually important. This is the one that Lambda is going to use. So make sure we get Node.js all lowercase. We'll go into Node.js <clears throat> and this is where we'll install our packages. So we'll do npm install MySQL and we will use the prefix option to tell it to install this package into that uh, local directory here. And of course you have to spell it correctly. There we go. Let's clean that up a little bit. And we can see here that our node modules folder has been created for us and inside of there we'll find the MySQL package. So we're going to navigate back one directory and this is where we're going to zip from. So we're going to do our zip minus R and we're going to put that in the temp folder and call it, uh, let's call it Lambda layer and we're going to use the period wildcard. Once all that's compressed, let's go ahead and move this file to S3. And that makes it a bit easier when we're trying to build the uh, Lambda layer using the UI. So we're going to copy this with AWS S3, copy, and we're going to reference the temp and Lambda layer. And then we're going to move that to S3 Utopia Lambda Layers. This is an S3 bucket that I've already created. You'll need to exchange this with the S3 bucket you'd like to use. And the file's been uploaded. Now we can navigate back to Lambda and we're going to expand this and go to our Lambda Layers. And we're going to create a new layer and this one's going to be named MySQL and we're going to choose the update from S3 and we're going to use S3 colon slash slash Geektopia Lambda layers and we're going to do the Lambda Lambda layer dot zip file. Choose the runtimes that we want this made available for. In this case we are just going to look for Node.js 8 we could probably include 6.0 in this as well, but for this example, we're just going to use 8 and create. Give this a couple seconds to create, and our version 1 has now been successfully created. So we're going to navigate back over to the Lambda functions. We're going to go into our Lambda function. And this is the Lambda function before that was failing, and we can see here it's still going to fail, telling us we can't find that MySQL package. To fix this, we're going to scroll down to the middle of the page. We're going to choose the Layers button. And we're going to attach that new layer. So hit Add to Layer, MySQL, and Version 1, and click Add. Clicking back here, we're not going to see the package, but we do need to save this, so we're going to click Save here. We still don't see the contents from the layer produced here, but you can click Test now and see that the package actually executes successfully. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. It really helps. Ring the YouTube bell or follow me on Twitter to be notified of future videos. If there's a topic you'd like me to cover, please add the request in the comments section below. Until next time.